Hello, my name is Yvette Green. What's your name? Oh, and your name? Oh, that's amazing. Those are some good names. Well, I don't know about you, but the best part about being out in the rain is splashing and splashing in those puddles. And you know what else? Sometimes I even like to sing in the rain. And that just happens to be our theme for our October stories today. Singing in the rain. There are things that happen in life like rainstorms and we don't like those, do we? No, we don't like those. For example, if all of your best friends were around you and a few of them had to move far, far away. Now these are your best friends in the whole world. That would make you sad, wouldn't it? Well, that's what we call rain. Or, or what, if, what if somebody in your family got sick and you couldn't go to be with them and give them a big hug and tell them that you love them? That would make you sad, wouldn't it? Well, that's rain. But we want you to know that no matter what's going on in your life, good or bad, God's got you covered and he's with you wherever you go. And you may say, is God really with me wherever I go? Yes, God is with you wherever you go no matter what. And that's our Bible lesson. God is with me wherever I go. That's right, God is with me wherever I go. So we always want you to remember that. And you say, how do I know God is with me wherever I go? Well, that's when we have to use our faith Faith has four parts. Are you ready? We need our ears, tuck on your ears, to hear God's word. We need our heart to believe God's word. And we need our mouth to speak God's word. And we need our hands to put God's word into action. You got it? I think you've got it. Now stay tuned for an amazing Bible lesson and praise and worship. See you in a few minutes.
Follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's been such a rainy day. It's easy to get down sometimes when you're in the rain or when things don't go your way. But I've got a story that might help. Do you want to hear it? You do? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This story begins with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had an idea. He had his people make a giant golden statue of him. Now, when I say giant, I mean giant. Wow, look at that. That is huge. And King Nebuchadnezzar loved it so much. So, he told all of the people in the kingdom to gather around. Then he told them that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me? Get out your pretend trumpets like this. Bum, ba, da, bum. And when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music. Bum, ba, da, bum. Perfect. Trumpets down. Okay, so the king told everyone every time the music played that he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. That's great, trumpets down. The king said that if you didn't bow down, he was going to throw you into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, and the king was serious. So. Each day, the music played, and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there are three men that did not bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They loved God and wanted to obey him. God had told them never to bow down to anyone but him. So they did not bow down to the statue. How do you think the king felt when he saw these three not bowing? Do you think he was happy? No, he was very mad. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, if I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not afraid. They knew that God was with them and that no matter what happens, God's got it. So they went into the fire, but then something happened. Look, how many people do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four shadows. Someone else was in the fire. It was an angel sent by God to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How cool is that? And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He is so amazed. He had never seen anything like this. And the king said, come out of the fire. So they all came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow, God was with them and saved them from the fire. From that day on, the king prayed only to God. <laughs> what an incredible story. And don't forget that no matter what, God is always with us. God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. 
That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. What an amazing Bible story. So before we go, I would like to pray with you and give your parents some next steps. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for loving me. And Father God, thank you for being with me wherever I go. We thank you for your protection. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now parents, we've heard your feedback and we continue to adjust our resources and support provided to you each week based on your family's need. So continue to download the family activity pages. Click and share in our Facebook group. Take a look at our monthly events created specifically for you and your family. Mark your calendars, October the 11th, 11 o'clock Central Time, 12 o'clock Eastern Time for our Can We Talk Family Life Balance Forum. Also, October the 25th at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time for our Preschool Zoom Connect, where you'll be able to see your small group leaders and each other. Thank you so much for joining us today. See you next week. Bye-bye.